Finding meaning why bad things happen to good people. It is a common question that has been asked throughout history, why do bad things happen to good people? Many individuals have struggled with this question, and it has led to a variety of answers, ranging from philosophical to religious explanations. Regardless of one's personal beliefs, understanding why bad things happen to good people is a difficult question to answer. One explanation for why bad things happen to good people is the concept of free will. According to this idea, humans are given the freedom to make their own choices, and these choices have consequences. For example, if someone chooses to drink and drive, they may cause an accident that harms themselves or others. In this sense, bad things can happen to good people simply because of the actions of others, even if those actions are not directly related to the person's own choices. Another explanation for why bad things happen to good people is the concept of karma. This idea suggests that our actions in this life determine our future experiences, either positively or negatively. In this sense, bad things may happen to good people because of negative karma resulting from past actions, even if those actions were committed by previous generations. A third explanation for why bad things happen to good people is the idea that suffering is a necessary part of life. This viewpoint suggests that challenges and hardships can help individuals grow and develop, both spiritually and emotionally. In this sense, bad things may happen to good people as a way to help them become stronger and more resilient. Despite these explanations, the question of why bad things happen to good people remains unanswered. It is a complex issue that defies easy explanation or resolution. However, there are several ways in which individuals can cope with the difficulties that life presents. One way to cope with bad things happening to good people is to focus on the positive aspects of life. This can include spending time with loved ones, engaging in hobbies or activities that bring joy, and practicing gratitude for the good things that exist in life. By focusing on the positive, Individuals can better cope with the negative aspects of life and find meaning in difficult experiences. Another way to cope with bad things happening to good people is to seek support from others. This can include friends, family members, or mental health professionals who can offer guidance and support during difficult times. Talking about one's experiences and emotions can be cathartic and can help individuals process and work through difficult emotions. Finally, it is important to recognize that bad things happen to everyone, regardless of how good or bad they may be. Life is inherently unpredictable and chaotic, and it is impossible to control every aspect of our experiences. By accepting this reality and focusing on what can be controlled, individuals can better cope with the difficulties of life and find meaning and purpose even in the face of adversity. In conclusion, the question of why bad things happen to good people is a difficult one to answer. While there are a variety of philosophical and religious explanations, none of them provide a definitive answer. However, individuals can cope with the difficulties of life by focusing on the positive, seeking support from others, and accepting the unpredictable nature of life. By doing so, Individuals can find meaning and purpose in difficult experiences and grow stronger and more resilient as a result. Moreover, it is important to remember that bad things happening to good people is not a reflection of their worth or value as a person. It is easy to fall into the trap of blaming oneself for difficult experiences, but it is important to recognize that external factors often play a significant role in shaping our experiences. It is also important to remember that bad things happening to good people is not a justification for tolerating or accepting injustice or harm. While it is true that life is unpredictable and chaotic, it is still important to advocate for oneself and others, and to work towards creating a more just and equitable world. One way to do this is through acts of kindness and compassion. When we encounter someone who is going through a difficult time, we can offer support and empathy, even if we cannot fix the situation. This can include listening, offering words of encouragement, or simply being present for the person. Another way to create positive change in the face of adversity is through activism and advocacy. 
This can include supporting organizations that work towards social justice, speaking out against injustice and discrimination, and working towards creating a more equitable and just world. Ultimately, the question of why bad things happen to good people is a difficult one to answer, but it is important to remember that we can still find meaning and purpose in difficult experiences. By focusing on the positive, seeking support from others, and working towards creating a more just and equitable world, we can find hope and meaning even in the face of adversity. In conclusion, the question of why bad things happen to good people is one that has been asked throughout history, and it remains a difficult question to answer. While there are a variety of philosophical and religious explanations, none of them provide a definitive answer. However, by focusing on the positive, seeking support from others, and working towards creating a more just and equitable world, we can find hope and meaning even in the face of adversity. Furthermore, it is important to remember that bad things happening to good people can also lead to personal growth and development. It is through facing challenges and overcoming adversity that we develop resilience, strength, and character. While difficult experiences may be painful in the moment, they can also provide valuable opportunities for growth and transformation. In addition, bad things happening to good people can also serve as a reminder of the interconnectedness of all things. We live in a complex and interconnected world, and the actions of one individual can have far-reaching consequences. When we see the suffering of others, it can inspire us to act with compassion and empathy, and to work towards creating a more just and equitable world. Finally, it is important to recognize that bad things happening to good people are not always random or unpredictable. In many cases, systemic injustices and inequalities can lead to certain individuals or groups experiencing more hardship and suffering than others. It is important to work towards addressing these root causes of suffering and to advocate for greater social justice and equity. In conclusion, the question of why bad things happen to good people is a complex and difficult one to answer. While there are a variety of explanations, none of them provide a definitive answer. However, by focusing on the positive, seeking support from others, working towards personal growth and transformation, and addressing systemic injustices and inequalities, we can find hope, meaning, and purpose even in the face of adversity. Ultimately, Bad things happening to good people is a part of the human experience. While it can be challenging and difficult to navigate, it is important to remember that we are not alone in our struggles. By coming together in support and solidarity, we can find the strength and resilience to overcome even the most difficult challenges. We may not always be able to control what happens to us, but we can control how we respond to those challenges and how we work towards creating a better world for ourselves and others.